Okay, YouTube. So here's a little bit of an update since I had connected the right front upper control arm. Said I'd get the uh, knuckles in. So uh, here's the one knuckle. Here's the other castellated nut. Also, the lower one I found on a forum that they get torqued to 80 foot pounds and the upper. 75 foot pounds that makes sense i've heard other stuff elsewhere but um i've always heard this one was 80 but why would this one be a hundred but uh, anyway so it is a castellated nut so you have to get the uh, cotter pin in so a good rule of thumb is plus or minus 10 percent but preferably plus 10 percent so you torque it to 75 on the upper and 80 on the lower but if the if the hole doesn't line up give it 10 percent so 75 just add another seven foot pounds and hopefully the within that seven it'll line up or you could take away 10 percent as well and this one was eight it was uh, 88 that i went to but i didn't need i didn't even hear the click on on the 88 so i went to 80 it clicked and then adjusted to 88 and it, it fell in somewhere in between. Anyway, I got the uh, the axle shafts in. I got the uh, ABS control wire in. Clean the ABS sensors with the good uh, brake cleaner. So that's the right one. I'm ready to put in the uh, the uh, wheel bearing. Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. Here's the wheel bearing. Now, I don't think I was having problems with this. It's pretty rock solid. It probably doesn't even have 5,000 miles on it. And then uh, here's the left side. This one was a little bit of a bear because of how tight the uh, CV boot is. It would not go in. It would. It came out about right. I mean, it would go in about that far. And that was it. So I had to play with the uh, the CV boot kind of jiggle this back and forth and uh, kind of pull this out and then it finally went in and it's in now it's a nice solid all right and I got the ABS sensor cleaned it up with a good brake cleaner that way uh, your sensors are looking for impedances and grease on the sensors will affect your impedances so a simple fix for some ABS problems is just clean the sensors off and that's it you know it, you do that and problems go away so we'll see I, I have been getting an ABS light hopefully that you know it hopefully this fixes it between less vibration of the uh, differential and cleaning the sensors hopefully that fixes it if not I probably have bigger problems we'll, we'll find out all right talk to you later Oh, before I go away, um, I have not loosened up these these ratchet straps. I, I took off a few of them, and of course I, I put on some heavy gloves when I do that because man, it hurts. And there's so much tension on them that uh, I don't want to break another one, and I definitely don't want it popping my lip again. So, all right, um, got to go to my regular job now. So. I'll take this up tomorrow. I'll have the whole day tomorrow. All right. Talk to you soon.